I am Anil Kumar. We are exploring characteristics of polynomials. Let us now connect end behavior with leading coefficients. The question here is, describe end behavior of each polynomial using degree and leading coefficient. You can pause the video, copy and then answer the question. Here is my suggestion. When we are linking end behavior with leading coefficient, we have to take care of uh, two things. One is what happens when the leading coefficient is positive and what happens when leading coefficient is negative, right? So leading coefficient could be positive or negative. Is that okay? So what we will take, we will take cases where leading coefficient a n is positive and where leading coefficient a n is negative. Now if the leading coefficient is positive then the right side is up. That is the end behavior. And if leading coefficient is negative, then right side is down. So that is common for both even or odd degree polynomials. Okay. The other important thing is how will degree play into end behavior? For degree, what we will do here is if the degree is if the degree is even, let us say then both same side, both same side. Do you understand? Both will be same side. And if degree is odd, so if odd, then it is opposite ends. End behavior. So these things will help us to answer this particular question. Okay, so let's begin by writing what are the leading coefficients and what is the degree of each polynomial. So let me first write down the degree itself. So let's say we'll write degree here and then we'll say what is the leading coefficient a n, right? So whether it's positive or negative, right? So let me uh, just uh, make some columns here. Leading coefficient, we are only interested in sign. And then we'll write down the end behavior. So end behavior, basically, we are trying to say what happens when x approaches minus infinity and what happens when x approaches positive infinity, right? So the, that is what we meant by end behavior, correct? So that is what we need to answer. Now in the very first example, 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 degree clearly, the highest term degree is 2, so degree is 2. A n, the leading coefficient here, is 3, right? So 3, we know it is positive and odd. Do you see that? Positive and odd. So two things, odd and positive. Positive means right side up. Right side is this. When x is approaching positive infinity, right side up means y is approaching positive infinity. Odd degree, right? This is odd degree. No, I'm sorry, this a n is 3, which is positive. Degree is 2, which is even. Let me write down here. Even here. So that means same ends. So even means both same sides. So y approaches positive infinity, whether you are approaching negative infinity or positive on the x-axis. The value of the function is positive, right? So, so in this particular case, if I have to sketch the, the then both sides will, will be kind of like this. Do you understand? So that is the end behavior for this particular function. Let's get to the next one. So here what we notice is that the leading term actually is not written first but it's kind of written here x to the power of 4. So, so the degree what we say is even again right and it is 4. Leading coefficient is minus 1. It is negative. Do you see that? Now when it is even both are same sides same sides and negative means right side down that means if x is approaching positive infinity it is right side down so y approaches negative infinity both same side means y approaches negative infinity for both the cases correct so that is how we should be doing it now we have two examples where the degree is odd in this one, 2x cubed plus x squared minus x to the power of 5 plus 3, I have purposely written it in different order. 
you need to check when when you get a test paper always you will not be written in this particular order so look into each term x to the power of 5 so this is odd right and the degree is 5 5 is odd leading coefficient is negative 1 so it's negative negative means right side down that means y approaches negative infinity odd means opposite ends so this should go to positive infinity that is how you can quickly write down the end behavior I like you to pause the video write down the answer for the last question yourself here is the solution again it is mixed up terms this term x to the power of 6 is the leading term so it has even degree which is 6 right and it is positive 1 it is positive 1 so both are on the same side right side up so right side up means this is it okay so both on the same side right side up to get an idea right so that is how you should be writing and behavior so here is a test question for you let me say that the function is y equals to 2x cube minus x to the power of 4 plus 3x to the power of 7 now can you write down the behavior and behavior for this particular function thank you and all the best